What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I have my part 5 of my top 10 tweaks for iOS 9 series. So this is part 5 and a link to the jailbreak video if you want to learn how to jailbreak. If you're on 9.0.2 you can jailbreak and also all my other tweak videos from part 1 to part 4 will be linked in the description. So the first tweak is called Appbox. Appbox basically is a tweak that lets you get access to certain apps from your lock screen just like that and then you could open them up just from your lock screen just like that the only thing is most of the time you don't even remember it's there so you never really use it but if you like that there you go there's also settings where you could go in there you could choose your apps so these are all the apps on my phone lots of apps and right up top this little section right here that's the enable tab so whatever is enabled you could drag it down to disable it or you could drag up the disable to the enable tab and you, you're good to go so that's app box and my second one is called C clean C clean is basically for your I mean C, I mean control center my bad control center you go into settings find C clean basically whatever you want to get rid of you can make them square. You can hide whatever. Let's just hide a bunch of stuff. See what's left when we respring. So after the respring, I slide up and look. Basically everything is gone. And you could just go back there and enable disable all that stuff. And everything will come back but it's a pretty cool tweak if you want to I mean get your control center streamlined so my third one is called smile battery smile battery is basically this right there if you look at the battery icon it's not really smiling right now because it's the battery level is going down but usually it's smiling whenever it's on high levels so and it also changes depending on your battery and if you plug it in it switches up so as you can see now it's smiling and like the sweat is running off like whoo I mean then you unplug it see it's smiling so that's what smile battery does pretty cool tweak and yeah check it out and then my fourth one is called appendix appendix is basically 3d touch for folder so you 3d touch on a folder and it pops up all the apps in the folder and you could basically tap it and you're good to go nothing really to explain nothing really to configure it's just 3d touch for your folders and my fifth one is called speaker status bar speaker status bar. I actually like this tweet the only thing is for some reason it's buggy right now it was working good as soon as I started filming this video it stopped working so basically it's whenever right now it's, it's on vibrate mode so you would see the speaker with a line through it. Take that off, it usually comes off and tell you that the speaker is working. But for some reason it stopped working. But I love this tweak. A simple update will fix this. So I'm gonna have it in there even though it's kind of buggy right now. But I know it will get fixed because it was working like today and then it just stopped working. So that's my fifth one. And my sixth one is called Instant Touch ID. Instant Touch ID is basically this. To open up your phone, you don't have to actually press the home button if you have a Touch ID enabled device. Just rest your finger on it and it opens. Simple as that. So that's hence Instant Touch ID. Just like that. Cool, quick, cool tweak. So, yeah, check it out. And my seventh one is called Cairo. Cairo is pretty cool as well. It's from music apps. So whatever I'm playing, let's play Bobby Smurder. Hot nigga. So let's hit play. And you see the background of the art. Oh, this one is acting up too. But basically, you can see the name of the song right there. And it also the artwork should pop up. It was working as I said. I don't know what's going on. 
every time I try to film a video these things stop working so let's switch up let's play fanboy rap that's why I'm unbox therapy now you see it right there it's actually playing I just got the volume turned down and it switches up so let's play something else let's play let's go to my purchases let's go to playlist it doesn't want to show up for some of them it does work but as you can see try that one you can see it shows up so it's, so it's Cairo guys that's Cairo I mean basically shows the, the artwork I mean in the app and the music app whichever music app is playing it shows the artwork pretty simple tweak so yeah check it out and number eight is color predictive text color predictive text basically let's go to my messages color predictive text is basically you see a predictive text right there so if you want to change the color of that you go on the setting after you download color predictive text scroll down color predictive text enable it you could choose your color right now it's on like purple pink let's, let's try to make this baby red no not red because we already my keyboard is kind of red so let's try to make it green exit out and now you can see the predictive text is green it looks yellow on the screen but it's green and we could go back in there again. We could change the color. Let's try to do blue. And now you see it's blue. So that's what color predictive text does, guys. It just basically switches up the predictive text on your device so my ninth one is called color switches color switches basically switches up now you see you see how oh, that's yellow usually it's green but that's what color switches does guys it does basically switch up all this stuff to make it whatever color you want so if I go to CC clean I want whatever CC clean right up here whatever I enable it was going to turn yellow instead of turn green. So that's what that does. And I, I could go right here to the settings, go in there, and I could switch it up. You see, now it's on yellow. Let's try to make the baby red. So bring that down. There we go. Let's see if it switched yet. See that? No, it's red. So that's all color switches does, guys. It just switches up the color of your switches and your settings so my ninth one is called spring to mice 3 you guys know spring to mice is like one of my favorite te tweaks if not the best tweak out that's a that's a high statement but spring to mice 3 delivers so this is it right here you could change everything your animation your app slider control center your dock you see how the way my dock looks got five it's kind of concave or cover flow. The ones in the middle are smaller and the outside is bigger. I got six, I mean five up top, five in each row. And these are smaller. So that's what this does. So if I want to make my icon smaller, go to pages. And as you can see, icon size is at 90%. So if I want to put them at 75%. Dark icons at 110. I want to put it at 95. And I also enable cover flow. I'm going to take the cover flow off. Then I'm going to hit respring.
as you can see my icons are way smaller and there's no more cover flow on the bottom and they're a little bit smaller so that's basically the tip of the iceberg of what you could do with this right here you could do everything your notifications and your lock screen I mean you could get rid of the camera like if if you if there was an ultimate tweak if you only had to download one tweak this would be the one tweak right here because with this one tweak you could tweak basically your whole phone so that's the cool thing about spring to my three I mean you could enable it disable it but you could go to your folders if you look at my folders my folders is clear so if I open up my folder it doesn't really have a background I mean it's clear so that's what that does right there you could lock folder name like basically you could tweak everything slider resize them animation also the animation where if I want to do the old TV it's respring now you guys are gonna see what that animation does it basically whenever it closes it's gonna shut down like a old TV basically it closes from top from bottom and Let's go to let's open it up. See that? So that's what that does, guys. Like this tweak is the ultimate tweak. I know you guys heard about it before. And yeah, there it is, guys. So those are my top ten tweaks. And because I mean what which one was it? Speaker status didn't work. I'm gonna give you guys a bonus tweak. This one is called Ophelia. Let's go to settings again. I wanted to send myself a, a quick notification, but basically what Ophelia does is basically gets rid of the, the app from your notification. So whenever you get a notification and it pops up up top right here, you don't see the app. So that's what Ophelia does. I wanted to send myself a quick like test notification, but I mean my app that I had to do that is gone. And Ophelia it doesn't have any settings with Ophelia. I mean, but basically what it does is you get a notification, it doesn't show you the app. It does tell you what the notification is about, and that's it. So if you get a text or whatever it is, it doesn't really tell you wh what it's from. It just say this is what it's about, and that's it. So there you go, guys. Check out all these tweaks. I mean, going to sit, going to sit here. And a cool source to add if you want to get a lot of tweaks for free, if you don't want to buy these tweaks. And a cool source to add is to go to sources, edit, add, and add this source. Repo dot insanely I dot com. And after you add that source, this is this right here. You get a lot of cool stuff for free. A lot of themes. I mean and that's whatever tweaks I told you guys about. You could just go right in here and search them if you want to get CC clean, RC clean. There it is right there. If you want to get app box, just type it in. There it is right there. You just download whatever one you want. So there you go, guys. It's Prince with ATP 101. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though it had a little glitches with some of the tweaks, but couple of updates will fix all those. It's Prince with ATP 101. Rate, comment, and definitely subscribe for more videos like this. Peace. Thanks for watching.